Hi again, I'm Dr. Proctor with Beltline Health here in Atlanta, Georgia. Today we're here to discuss what kind of weight loss can a patient expect after a gastric bypass? We often get these questions. Patients will come in wondering, you know, doc, I hear about sleeve gastrectomy, gastric bypass, duodenal switch, lap bands, lap balloons, all these different things. What's the difference in all of these? Well, I'll answer this in a couple of different ways. we have what we call metabolic procedures and non-metabolic procedures. Metabolic procedures are actually procedures that create an anatomic change to your upper GI tract. A sleeve gastrectomy, where we're removing from your body two-thirds of your stomach. A gastric bypass, where we create a small gastric pouch and will bypass the first meter and a half or two meters of small bowel. A duodenal switch, where it's a sleeve plus an intestinal bypass. All of these are creating changes to the upper GI tract, which then will affect this metabolic shift you've heard us talking about, where the body wants to shift down to a lower weight. Non-metabolic procedures would be things such as a lap band, an endoscopic sleeve gastrectomy, or a gastric balloon. These are operations that don't create a metabolic shift. The hope for intent of those operations is to decrease food intake, but none of these operations tend to work for very long, unfortunately. So we'll focus a little bit on the metabolic procedures, and today we're gonna to focus mainly on the gastric bypass. This is an operation that uh, has been around longer than the other current metabolic procedures. The first paper was written on it back in the 1950s, and it's really withstood the test of time with regards to efficacy or how well it works as well as its safety profile, believe it or not. Now, if we consider that all these metabolic procedures are going to kick off this metabolic response by the body where the body wants to lose weight equally, that's probably true, but there's really no way to measure this, so let's just assume that's the case, then what's the difference, say, between a sleeve and a bypass and a duodenal switch? The difference probably comes in uh, the front end, how much weight a patient can expect to lose, and on the back end, how much more difficult it is for that patient to regain their weight. The more intestine we bypass, I meaning food's not going to go through that portion of the intestine, uh, the less absorptive area you have in your GI tract, and thus the harder it is for you to regain your weight after the operation. Now, remember, you can regain your weight after all of these operations, so nothing's impossible. There's nothing bulletproof here. But with a bypass in particular, we are creating a very small pouch. We're going to bypass the very first portion of your small bowel, which does affect very good weight loss and decreases chances of weight regain down the road compared to something like the sleeve gastrectomy. Now, when can I expect to lose my weight? How long will I lose weight? Really kind of depends on where you're starting from. I personally believe that patients starting off with a BMI of say around 35 up to the high 40s are probably going to, at the outset, lose the same amount of weight as somebody with a sleeve gastrectomy. Now, once you get to a BMI of 50, 55, somewhere in there, I think you can probably expect to lose a little bit more weight with a gastric bypass than you would with a sleeve. Now, where's that weight loss gonna occur? If most patients are gonna lose around 70 to 80% of their excess body weight, that's the amount of body weight they have above their ideal body weight, most of that weight loss is gonna occur within the first six months of surgery. The second six months or the second 12 months after surgery, you will still be losing weight, but at a much slower pace than you started off with. I kind of liken it to an airplane coming in for a landing where at first the, the dip is pretty steep, but as they get closer to the ground, it sort of levels off a little bit until they get to their final destination or final weight. So gastric bypass, depending uh, how much weight are you gonna lose, it's gonna really depend on where you're starting from. The higher you're starting from a weight standpoint, the more you can expect to lose. Um, how fast are you going to lose that weight? Again, most of that weight is front weight loss is front loaded in the first six months. Uh, and can I expect to regain my weight? Absolutely, you can. You just have to eat poorly and able uh, to be able to do that. So, uh, again, if we're looking at uh, the levels with these operations, generally speaking, sleeve gastrectomy will be the first rung on the ladder of weight loss. 
you can expect a little bit more weight loss with the gastric bypass and yet a little bit more with the duodenal switch. Your doctor will be the one to tell you which operation is right for you and on, weight, on what parameters, and a lot of it will depend on what kind of procedures that particular doctor will do. If you want to hear more about this and you want to learn a little bit more about these procedures and how they may affect you, please click on the link below. We'd love to talk to you more about it. Thanks.